There was a science fair in the greater Idaho area and a freshman from Eagle Rock High School won the contest. His project was to test, well, how gullible are people? So he asked them to ban dihydrogen monoxide because it was such a dangerous chemical by giving them an absolutely accurate set of criteria for how dangerous it was. Let me list those things that were shared with people who were asked to sign this petition to ban this dangerous chemical. They were told it kills thousands each year by accidental inhalation, that it causes severe burns in its gaseous state. It is so caustic that it accelerates the rusting of metals. It contributes to erosion. It has been found in the tumors of terminal cancer patients, and that if a person dependent on this chemical completely withdraws with it, it will result in his death. 86% of people immediately signed the petition. The government needs to ban this chemical. Think of all the lives that would be saved. The irony, the student was describing water. What world should ban water? But all that information was accurate. You see, just because we're given information doesn't mean we're getting the whole story and doesn't mean we're being given the information in the correct context. Consider evolution. It's never been shown that chemicals could come alive. Every experiment has shown it can't and doesn't happen. It's never been shown how the information content of DNA could have ever written itself by random processes. It's been shown information always has to have an intelligent source. It's never been shown how matter, time, and energy could ever create itself. It's been shown by every observation of science that matter and energy only come from pre-existing matter and energy. It had to have had a source outside of itself. The majority of people accept evolution as true, not because it's true, but because they've been given partial information and they've been trained to leave God and to leave the Bible out of their thinking as they look at the world around us. You see, 86% of people said we should ban water because they believed it was dangerous as a result of having been given partial information. That's what's going on with evolution. So think through what you're being told and try to question what aren't I being told and always look for the truth, not just what do the majority of people believe.